Uncover the truth behind the notorious outlaw Dave Rudabaugh in this jaw-dropping expose that will keep you on the edge of your seat. From his daring heists to his shocking secrets, this is the real story you've been waiting for. Embark on a thrilling adventure as we delve deep into the disturbing details of Rudabaugh's life. Join us on this mysterious journey that will make you question everything you thought you knew about the Wild West. Birth of a Rogue Spirit The enigmatic life of Dave Rudabaugh began on January 14, 1854, in the serene confines of Fulton County, Illinois. His birth, much like his future, was a modest and unassuming event that hinted at neither the chaos nor the infamy that would come to define his existence. Born to parents whose names are often shrouded in the mists of time, Rudabaugh entered a world on the cusp of significant change. The echoes of the American Civil War reverberated throughout the land, a tumultuous backdrop against which his early years were spent. As the young Rudabaugh took his first steps, the seeds of his destiny were being sown in a country grappling with its own transformation. While precise details about his family and upbringing remain elusive, within the crucible of his formative years, the seeds of his future may have first been sown. Whether influenced by the prevailing unrest or driven by factors unique to his personal journey, Rudabaugh's path would ultimately diverge from the norm, propelling him towards a life that defied convention. The Outlaw Emerges Rudabaugh's journey into the realm of outlaws is believed to have taken root during the tumultuous aftermath of the American Civil War. The war's conclusion left scars that ran deep within the nation's fabric, and the unsettled atmosphere provided fertile ground for individuals seeking unconventional paths. As economic disparities and social unrest gripped the country, young men like Rudabaugh often found themselves at a crossroads, grappling with limited opportunities and a sense of disillusionment. The allure of quick wealth, adventure, and a taste of freedom beyond societal norms may have beckoned those yearning for a different life. The exact moment when Rudabaugh fully embraced his outlaw identity remains a mystery. Perhaps it was a fateful meeting, a flirtation with lawlessness, or an act of desperation that ultimately tipped the scales and drew him irrevocably into the world of outlaws. While the reason might be unknown, it is assumed that his criminal career took off in the early 1870s with a gang of outlaws who engaged in robbery and cattle rustling, including individuals like Milton Yarberry and mysterious Dave Mather. The three were suspected in the death of a rancher and fled the state. By some accounts, all three went to Decatur, Texas. Still, other reports have Rudabaugh heading to the Black Hills of South Dakota, where he became a stagecoach robber. The trio, comprising three daring and audacious outlaws, Dave Rudabaugh, Mike Rourke, and Dan DeMent. The trio etched their names into the annals of history through a series of daring exploits that sent shockwaves across the frontier. The fateful convergence of these three figures occurred in the late 1870s, when the American frontier was a realm where danger and opportunity beckoned in equal measure. Dave Rudabaugh, with his enigmatic past and insatiable thirst for infamy, was already on a trajectory toward a life of crime. Fate cast its death when he crossed paths with Mike Rourke and Dan DeMent, kindred spirits who shared his penchant for risk and adventure. During a chance encounter in the sprawling expanse of the frontier, the seeds of the trio were sown. The trio's criminal reign reached its zenith in the late 1870s and early 1880s, a period marked by a string of high-stakes escapades that sent shockwaves through the heartland of America. From the echoing canyons of the Southwest to the bustling streets of frontier towns, their presence was felt as a constant reminder of the thin line between chaos and order. Capture and Release During their first gang train robbery, Rudabaugh's gang, captured by Bat Masterson, including John Joshua Webb, captured Rudabaugh and fellow gang member Ed West. The remaining members of the gang were arrested shortly after that. This capture resulted from a coordinated effort between local law enforcement officers and federal authorities. Rudabaugh took a deal for immunity offered by the prosecuting attorney and testified against his former gang members. Shortly following his release, Rudabaugh accepted Masterson's offer to join a group of gunfighters to fight for the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railway in the Railroad Wars. But the crime scene never stopped seeking his attention 
as he had turned himself into one of the absorbent parts of outlaw society. After his release, he became a very close associate of John Joshua Webb, whom he had met during his earlier arrest. After the railroad wars, he and Webb traveled to the town of Las Vegas, New Mexico, where they became important members of the Dodge City Gang. This gang was a band of ruffians and gamblers dominating the growing community's political and economic life. Webb was arrested for murder in the spring of 1880. Dave Rudabaugh and another gang member attempted to break him out of jail on April 5, 1880. The attempt failed, and Rudabaugh shot and killed Deputy Antonio Lino Valdez. But before he got captured again, he fled to New Mexico, where he eventually joined a gang, one of whose members was Billy the Kid. But his freedom did not last very long. On a fateful day in the 1880s, Rudabaugh was captured alongside Billy the Kid, Billy Wilson, and other members of the gang. His particular posse was led by Pat Garrett, who brought them to Las Vegas, but the danger of a lynch mob prompted the officers to move them to Santa Fe. In February 1881, while in court, Rudabaugh pleaded guilty and was sentenced to 99 years in prison for several counts of mail robbery. He was then found guilty of the murder of Las Vegas Deputy Lino Valdez and was sentenced to death by hanging. Death Rudabaugh was reunited with Webb in jail. After a botched escape attempt in which a fellow prisoner named Thomas Duffy died, he and Webb broke out. After getting out of his imprisonment, he joined the Clanton faction in their feud against the Earps. It is assumed that he may have participated in the murder of Morgan Earp and the attempted murder of Virgil Earp, and may also have been present at the gunfight at Iron Springs, in which Curly Bill Brocious was killed. As the Clanton gang broke up, Rudabaugh headed down to Mexico, where he worked as both a cowboy and a rustler. On February 18, 1886, Rudabaugh was involved in a gunfight with locals in Peral, Chihuahua. The fight began over a card game. He drew his pistol and killed two men and wounded another. He left the saloon unharmed but was unable to find his horse. He re-entered a few moments later and was shot several times from the shadows and died. Rudabaugh's body was then decapitated with a machete and his head was placed on a pole. In his final days, Dave Rudabaugh's life took a somber turn. After a series of run-ins with the law and a string of failed criminal endeavors, he found himself isolated and pursued by law enforcement. Rudabaugh's reputation as an outlaw preceded him, making it increasingly difficult for him to find refuge or support. Facing mounting pressure, he attempted to escape to Mexico, hoping to evade capture. However, his luck ran out when he was apprehended by Mexican authorities and imprisoned. His days of adventure and lawlessness came to an end as he languished behind bars. In the final act of his tragic tale, Rudabaugh faced a fate that seemed fitting for a man of his reputation. His death, like much of his life, is shrouded in shadows and uncertainties. Some say he met his end in a hail of bullets, a violent finale to a life defined by violence. Others claim that he vanished into the mists of history, his ultimate fate remaining a mystery that would never be unraveled. And so the story of Dave Rudabaugh, a man born on an ordinary day in an ordinary place, weaves its way through the fabric of time, leaving behind a trail of questions, whispers, and secrets. His life, marked by outlawry, infamy, and an irresistible air of mystery, stands as a reminder that history is often a tapestry woven from threads of enigma, waiting for those brave enough to unravel its true meaning. What do you think of the video? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.